Margie Tipton was born June 1954 in Port Arthur. She grew up in Nederland and was active in the first Girl Scout troop there. Her father, Fred Roach Jr., was a dentist and her mother, Louise Hogg Roach, was a retired dietitian and homemaker. Margie likes to joke that she and younger brother Rick are the product of a Hogg Roach union. During her days at Nederland High School, Tipton was a member of the Western Airs Drill Team, an officer in the Future Homemakers of America, a member of the Methodist Youth Fellowship, and of the Nederland Environmental Action Team, better known as NEAT. She became active in the American Red Cross at age 18, working as a certified swim instructor and lifeguard at the Nederland City Pool. She attended SFA in 1972-73 before marrying. Daughter Jennifer K. Larkin was born in 1974 and Emily Michelle was born two and a half years later. Tipton attended Lamar University and LSU Shreveport during those years, keeping her goal to be an elementary school teacher. In 1979, divorced and single, she moved back to Nacogdoches and was employed at Memorial Hospital as a ward clerk for one and a half years while attending SFA. She graduated from SFA in 1980 and taught in Douglas ISD and Nacogdoches ISD. In 1983, she completed a master's in education. She was employed as an educational diagnostician for NISD until 1993. During these years, she taught swim lessons, water aerobics, and water babies, and did a stint as swim director at Moroni Pool. She was a certified American Red Cross water safety instructor and taught swim instructors. For several years, Tipton and her daughters worked as custodians cleaning office buildings. In 1993, her daughter Emily died in a car accident. Margie was an instructor at SFA in the Human Services Department teaching potential teachers about students with disabilities and the laws that protect them. She was also Director of Disability Services at SFA. In 1995, she married the love of her life and soulmate, Jimmy Tipton. For seven years, they had the most fun, traveling the world and enjoying one another. After Jimmy's death in 2002, Margie became the CEO of Tipton Ford Incorporated. During Hurricanes Katrina and Rita in 2005, Margie served as Red Cross community leader, organizing local shelter providers, evacuee placement in Nacogdoches, and resource procurement and distribution. Her dedication and decision-making skills secured comfort and relief for hundreds of people in dire need. Red Cross branch manager Glenna Harkness says that even though Red Cross staff and volunteers had prepared shelter agreements and trained many in shelter operations, she did not think Margie or anyone else had any idea what they were in for with the 2005 hurricane season. When Katrina came, the Nacogdoches Recreation Center was the first shelter to open. As soon as Margie arrived, she was in a take charge role. The needs and demands of the evacuees were overwhelming. Margie immediately began calling volunteers. Many were First Methodist Church volunteers. She started assigning roles. Harkness says that Margie's coordination and leadership role during Hurricane Katrina was a huge asset to the success at the shelter. She worked many hours, many days, and continued to show up even though she was very tired. Her efforts were noted by many, including her organization, peers, city personnel, and the evacuees. As Katrina evacuees were finally dispersing, Rita evacuees were arriving, and the hurricane itself was bearing down on East Texas. The back-to-back -back crises stretched every emergency worker's abilities and energy. According to Robert Hurst, Nacogdoches County Homeland Security Director, by the second day after Rita's passage, officials were quickly becoming challenged with the number of county citizen requests, especially from the elderly and those in special need. At Judge Sue Kennedy's request, Margie came to the county's emergency operations center and worked the incoming calls for several days by herself. She brought calm to the worried chaos of the callers and helped literally dozens of hurting people receive the special needs and care that they were seeking. Hearst says that Margie's unselfish actions removed a tremendous burden from the county's overworked personnel and positively impacted the citizens of Nacogdoches County. Margie is very proud of her daughter Jennifer, a San Antonio optometrist, and her son-in-law Michael, an internal medicine physician. But the great love of her life now is granddaughter Emily Catherine Kate Johnson, aged 13 months. Although other grandparents may dispute this, Margie assures us that Kate is the best baby in the world. The Nacogdoches County Chamber of Commerce is proud to name Margie Tipton its 2007 Citizen of the Year.